The loss of the cutlass finding Sandra in need of an automotive replacement, Gary noticing a television commercial for a weekend auto auction at Century 2. The ad finding him Saturday, on his way to Wichita. The auction was unique. The elder Wilson discovering a 1956 Oldsmobile Starfire convertible at reasonable price, a dream of a car, but it was his dream not Sandra's, so practicality prevailed. A 1993 Mercury Topaz under warranty was offered, although a stick shift, the price was right and the decision was made to buy. Gary deciding to leave his Buick at Century 2, driving the Topaz back to Anthony, Upon arrival at home, presented Sandra with the Topaz and after spending the day in Wichita, didn't feel up to making another 110 mile round trip to get the Buick, asking Sandra, if she and her friend September Porter would return to Wichita in the Mercury and have September drive the Buick back to Anthony. Gary, waiting patiently for Sandra and September's return from Wichita when the phone rang, it was Sandra explaining they were still in Wichita, and there had been an accident. She had rear-ended the Buick with the Topaz, adding the front of the Topaz had been damaged and water was coming from underneath the front, but the Buick seemed alright. T. Gary weary of the events, telling the girls to find a convenience store and park the Topaz and drive the Buick home. The girls having arrived, the Buick no worse for wear. Gary deciding T0 return to Wichita to survey the damage. Once in Wichita, finding the damaged Topaz not parked at a location on the way back to Anthony, but on the other side of town. Gary deciding not to make an issue of it, as his daughter was already to the point of tears considering the loss of two cars in two weeks. The good news was that the damage looked to be minimal, mostly to the front grille and radiator. The next morning, a Sunday, Gary approached Harold Madsen at home located behind his automotive repair establishment to see about transporting the car from Wichita, Harold telling Gary the family had plans, and he couldn't retrieve it till tomorrow, but he would be more than happy to loan Gary his pickup and auto trailer if he thought it necessary. Taking advantage of the opportunity, Gary was soon in Harold pickup and trailer making his third trip to Wichita in two days. The Topaz loaded and arriving back in Anthony, parking the pickup and trailer with the car still on it to await Harold's attention, and a return to normality. The summer months prevailing, Robert working in cell line and, and Sandra's preparation completed for her enrollment at Southwestern College at Winfield, Kansas. A Saturday morning found Gary hitching his, two lawn boys in a snapper, trailer to the Buick, proceeding to consign furnishing from Sandra's bedroom and other possessions to avail the semi-furnished rental house, that her and two other prospective student had procured in Winfield. The journey was not without incident, having to stop and tighten the rope tie-downs. The wind blowing out of the south and he was somewhat leery of a possible scattered showers from the sparse individual clouds that inhibited, what otherwise was, a blue, Kansas sky. Arriving at his destination, Gary finding the rental property, a remnant of days past, a shiplap frame house in an indiscreet neighborhood without sidewalks, a typical descry found in most rural Kansas farming communities, but suitable for the demean or of the occupants. An unloading of the trailer was completed, Sandra's new Winfield residence established. The drive back to Anthony found Gary experiencing a sullen emptiness, part of his life having departed.